electoral officer. I have never in my life, never participated in any election. Never. My duty came calling. I made my inquiries from Abuja and I said, I need If I perish, I perish. So welcome to today's episode of the Niger Ombudsman. This is the 38th episode, and I'm going to be addressing um, something more positive today. We know we've been talking about the Nigeria elections, and so today I'm looking at the positive side of the just concluded elections. I want to use this episode to celebrate two things. First, the, a hero and a heroine in this election, and then the fact that the Labour Party is doing something really positive and wonderful, even in the midst of the situation the party is in. Uh, the first one is connected to Professor Nena Oti. You know that the Professor Nena Oti was the REC, that is the resident electoral commissioner for the elections in the governorship election in Abia State, which PDP and INEC tried as much as possible uh, to rig. Was to declare the riot act as follows. Under me, votes must count. Under me, the people's mandate will be upheld. Because Professor Nana Oti, the mother of three children, and the wife of Unanoti, the daughter of Ibewo, the daughter of Afibo, the daughter of Ebony State, the daughter of Udibo, and the daughter of Nigeria can never do evil. Thank you. But and thank you. Professor Nena Oti, who is also the vice chancellor of FUTO, that is Federal University of Technology. Oweri stood her ground. She refused to bow to their intimidation and she refused to take the money they were trying to use to bribe her, uh, up to the extent that they even, the matter even went as far as Abuja. So it's important um, to commend this wonderful lady. Uh, she is a heroine of democracy, if I may use that expression. But uh, for the only thing I have against Professor Oti was her decision in 2021 to appoint uh, the present Minister for Communications and Digital Technology, that's Isa Pantami, as a professor. Uh, that's, that's the only grasp I have with Professor Nena Oti. But apart from that, that she was able to stand her ground in the face of the intimidation many residential, resident electoral commissioners and many of those officials who were involved in these elections had to bow to. I really appreciate her, that she was able to call their bluff and stand her ground to ensure that the results of the governorship election in her own words, reflected what the people, the choice the people made. And so this is what Nigerians had wanted to see in these elections. So I'm happy that a lady like this stood up, despite the fact that there was a large amount of money which they presented to bribe her, but she refused that. This is the kind of, of um, attitude 
we Nigerians need to develop. And whether for men or women, this is what we want to see. We want to see Nigerians who place the interest of the nation above their own personal interest. Because for somebody who has risen to the post of a professor and a vice chancellor of a university, I really don't know what you still be looking for. I really don't know how come you want to be very susceptible to any kind of bribe anyone is offering you. So I'm happy that Professor Nena Oti was able to resist them. They came with their money. And they came with their intimidation. I will mark for them. Like you know, um, Professor Nena Oti, she's not only excellent in her character, she's also excellent academically. She's a, a scholar of, of, of the Federal University of Technology. She read social science, she made a first class, and then proceeded to do a, a postgraduate studies in Leeuwen, I think that's in the Netherlands, came back to Nigeria to do her PhD. And she had consistently, like she said, she has said that she had, in her life, she had not defrauded anyone. So she, this speaks of character that she had developed over the years. If you have not developed character, there's, when the time of test comes, you will fail. And so for Nena Oti, she has shown that she has developed um, that character over the years. So Professor Nena Oti, this edition is meant to celebrate you and other women like you who have stood for the interest of Nigeria and placed it above any other thing, placed it above any kind of corrupt ways that people have projected to try to compromise you. So I celebrate you, madam, and I pray that you will continue on this line and continue to also raise others along this line because we need more women like you. We need more women like you. We need mothers like you who we uh, influence the present generation who have been uh, severely compromised by the get rich quick syndrome, who have been severely compromised by that syndrome of um, no matter what it takes, just get the money. This is the mentality we want to erase from Nigeria. So, Madam, I celebrate you and I pray that God will continue to protect and preserve you as well as your family. Then the next one is um, Ugo, uh, Ikenga Ugochinere. Ikenga Ugochinere. Uh, it's my man. Uh, it's my, I call him my man because you will see that two episodes of my uh, uh, blogs, uh, of my vlogs, have been dedicated to CUPP, that is the Coalition of United Political Parties, and Ikenga Ugochinyere. Last year, before the elections, the CUPP and Ugochinyere had several uh, press conferences, and they address the 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 want Nigerians of the forthcoming of the impending plans by the uh, APC and the INEC to compromise the forthcoming elections. And many people said, "Oh, they were lying that Ogochinyere and CUPP were being mischievous." He talked about names that have been. Um, put into the register to compromise um, the elections. And he, he talked about other plans that they had concocted to ensure that they rigged the elections. But many um, called him a miscreant. But as things have now unfolded, we have been able to see that in the grand scheme, in the grand scheme of things, CUPP and Ugo Chinyuri we're right all along. And that is the reason why you see that towards the elections that the so-called unknown gunmen went to Ugo Chinyere's, uh, family house, burnt down the houses in that, in that compound, burnt down um, ha, um, cars and other properties, they, other, other properties they had in that particular place. And also he lost his own uncle. So, Ugo Chinyere is one man who had paid a very great price for these elections. And I'm surprised that he has not been 
celebrated himself and the CUPP. I'm surprised that we Nigerians, we have not really celebrated this man and the wonderful thing he had done towards ensuring that we have a, the kind of election that uh, we desired. Ugochinri warned us, along with the CUPP, of all the plans that the INEC and the compromised political class in APC especially <clears throat> had in store for Nigerians. So, Ugochinri, this edition is also dedicated to celebrating you. I'm happy you won the, you won the ticket for the National Assembly. I'm really happy. But one thing I want you to remember, you are one of those who have fought for justice. You are one of those who have fought for us to have a credible election. So if you go to this place where you, not, you have not been given the ticket, I'm happy, very happy for you that you got this ticket. It is for you and those of like minds to ensure that you do what is right. So I also want to use this to extend, I also want to extend the same thing to those in the Labour Party and to those even in the severely compromised parties, the PDP and APC. Those of you who are going to the Senate, those of you who are going to the, uh, the National, uh, the, 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 the House of Representatives, you can see that integrity matters. Integrity is what Nigerians were looking for in candidates and parties in this election. And that is why the um, Labour Party had so much appeal for Nigerians, because they were fed up with the PDP and APC. So as you guys are now in that going to Senate and the House of Reps, I hope that you will see that integrity counts. So while you are there, Look, hear Nigerians, listen to Nigerians, and do what Nigerians want, and not what your the evil the evil godfathers in the APC and PDP are saying. Do what you know will or go well for Nigerians, so that we can have a better Nigeria. So, uh, my people, like I said before, this um, special edition is to celebrate two wonderful people. Professor Nena Oti and Ikenga Ugochinyere. So, congratulations to both of you, and I hope to see you all in my next video.